Uh, I think he's gonna start talking. Yeah. So hold on. All right. All right, let's do this shit. Welcome back to GTA for the last video. Uh, we are going to kill some people, <laughs> as you do in most GTA games. Uh, we have a specific number of targets to hit, uh, one for each character, and then we all meet up for the last guy, uh, who is, I think, Devin, Devin Weston. I'm pretty sure we get a phone call on the way to each of the uh, victims, but I don't think I get Franklin's first. I think I was like... I either get Franklin's phone call and then move over to Trevor, or move over to Trevor and get Trevor's phone call first. I don't remember which. But I know we each call, like, a specific person. I think Franklin calls Lamar, Michael calls... not Lester. Uh, I know Trevor calls... oh, what's his face? It's not Wade, it's the other dude from this gang. The one he always, uh, it's pretty much his bitch. Oh, okay. There's the call from Lamar. While well, I try and get hey, Lamar. Michael's that phone call. Above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Michael and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? Alright, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. So, after that phone call, I was like, hold on, wait. What about the other three? Or the other two, I guess. Would they have phone calls that I'm missing right now, or what? I wasn't sure if I was supposed to kill all three of them, if the AI was going to kill them for me, or what. It turns out you do actually have to go bounce between all three characters and kill them. Um, I make a slight detour to Trevor. And I want to talk about them more after his phone call. Which should be coming soon? Or, else I'm, or am I just being paranoid? There it is. Hold it. It's like I've seen this before. TP Enterprise, main campus. No, it's Ron. Right, That's his name. What's happening, Trevor? We're undergoing a transition. Oh, yeah? I think that Chinese problem might be taken care of, and there's money in the bank. Well, the O'Neills are gone, and the bikers ain't showing up again. So we're rich and at peace. Long as the forces of corporate darkness don't identify us as a threat, there's nothing to hold us back. Yeah. I guess we're all out of excuses. So there's his phone call. Um, still can't remember who Mike on is. I'm Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. This takes a while. Los but. Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Yeah, this guy. This. I think you're supposed to watch uh, his video or something uh, while this is all happening. Um... Yeah, it's been a while since I've played and slash even watched said video for GTA. It took me a while because after making the video, I then realized that it was an hour long, and uh, it turns out the the uh, the credits is like 40 minutes. So I had to speed that shit up, and it's still a 40 uh, minute video. It's ridiculous how long the, the game credits are, and the worst part is there's no audio. <laughs> There's no music, because I muted all the music, so it's just this empty, quiet, stuttering, and uh, just credit scene. So that's going to be fun to, to talk over. Right now I'm trying to figure out where the fuck Haynes is on this uh, Ferris wheel. Um, it doesn't really give you too much of a clue. He is on the Ferris wheel, and I'm pretty sure he's on one of the moving carts. But from where I'm standing, I can't see jack shit. Uh, not just because... I don't know where the fuck he is, but the bright lights uh, kind of a obstructed said view of the ride. Like, each of the carts I can't see because the bright lights. 
So I think I like run around behind these uh, tents. Pretty sure it still takes me a while to find it. I don't know why I'm staring at the exit with the carnival wheel. I am highly trained. Keep your distance. I wasn't sure how close I was supposed to get to this guy, but pretty sure he is on a moving cart. But I'm pretty sure I get him when he's down here. Um, uh, no, there he is. There's the fucker. Oh my god! Guy! That's his name, he shot him! Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, now I have to lose the cops, and I lose them in the easiest way possible. Out of the entire game, this has been the easiest way to lose the cops. Just fall off a bridge, smack your face, lose half your health, run into the ocean, and drive into the sunset. <laughs> just, just drive into the sunset. Uh, yeah. It's hard to get on these things, apparently. <laughs> it takes me a while. But now we have to drive into the, uh, the non-existent sunset, because it is technically nighttime. Yeah, I... It's not really a sunset. It's already night. That's unfortunate. Somehow, that was... That was probably the easiest attempt of escape the cops have had. All game? It only took me a hundred episodes to get away from the cops as cleanly as I did now. And even then, it took half my health and me to just bounce around in the ocean. Hey, Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. All right, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Stretch and Wei Chang are still in play. So, I wanted to talk about the fact that Trevor goes to go collect Mr. Weston before Franklin, even though we were playing as Franklin. So I'm wondering if you could have gone and killed the target with either Michael or Franklin, and then have them to go uh, collect Mr. Weston, and how that would play out, if it would be different. I would assume the conversation would be different because they're different characters, but, you know, I... I don't know. I can't confirm nor deny. I can only assume. And make... And assuming would make an ass out of myself. You and me. Shit. I missed that one up. <laughs> Either way, we're uh, going after Wei Chang, I think. Um, and he is at this, uh... Resort? Hotel? Thingamabob? I thought I could get off my bike here and just hey, go over and the shoot the fucker. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. And as soon as I walk over to them, they, uh... They not only drive over me, but they just they just fucking hit me with their car. I meant to say drive away, but they hit me. Yeah. English is, is happening, I believe. I'm not sure. I think this is English. Is my mic on? Check, check, one, two. Did I turn on my English? Not too sure. Either way, we're just gonna mow down. I think this is one of the easiest, uh... I, attempts that I've had at car combat all game as well. Pretty sure I almost died, but that's besides the point. It looks like I shot. It looks like I shot the driver, but apparently I thought I shot the the passenger, but apparently hit the driver. And the trucks are having like sumo wrestling over there, almost running me over. I'm using a gun that I do not like. It shoots way, too many bullets way too fast. Yeah, I was like, oh, can we fucking stop with this? Give me a good AK. Clean. Uh, so yeah, we barely made it out of that one alive. Just barely. Barely is good enough, right? I didn't win, nor did I lose. Oh, I did technically win. 
yeah, I think Stretch is just uh, hanging out with a bunch of other gang members in Grove Street. He's hanging out in Grove Street. What the fuck's he doing here? No, wait. Stretch is Grove Street. He's hanging out with ballers. I forgot that Michael had, you know, this ability to slow down time. By the way, if you remember, they all have abilities. <laughs> don't know if you remember that. Because I sure as fuck don't. Did I... I was able to... Lock on a guy behind the wall. Oh, nice, nice ability. I'm clear. Your pal Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who tanked us, homie. Thanks. He's all we got, man. Probably a lion as well. <laughs> oh, he's ganking people. So yeah, that's what I meant by Trevor. If uh, if you could complete the first heist, or not the first heist, but the first assassination with either of the two characters, would they get to Devin Weston before Trevor? And if so, what would happen? I'm pretty sure it always ends the, the same way. It's just the in-between part, I wonder. I know the conversations would probably be different, but getting him would still be the same, right? Walking in, shooting all the people. Maybe his hiding place changes. Spoilers, he's hiding. Because <laughs> he's he knows we're after him. Has surrounded him, himself with Merryweather guards. I, I I get that. Thank you. I assumed that. Kidnap Mr. Devon or Devon. Just Devon. Just plain old Devon. He lost his right to call uh to be called Mr. the second he fucked us over with the the car job. The rim job, if you will. <laughs> Even though we weren't collecting rims, we were collecting cars. Uh, technically, there should have been rims on said cars. So, I'm not wrong. I want to do this all stealthy, you know. Be a just quick and easy job. Get in, get out. Shoot all the bitches in between. I didn't realize there was a guy behind me. I'm pretty sure he's behind me. Either that or they realized that I just shot that dude in front of me. We got a cop Second one, Protect okay. <laughs> yeah. There goes my stealth uh, abilities, and I don't know why I threw myself I off. I just before. put down half your outfit back in town. Bend over here, cops! <laughs> Get your ass back! You dirtbag! You know, these Merryweather guys are pretty Come fucking easy. <laughs> they have quite the vulgar language. Do I just jump down here? I'm pretty sure I just, yeah, I just said fuck it. I even boosted and everything. Oh, fuck at that. It's like I know what I'm doing. You bleed like humans, but I know you're reptile. There's Sharpine Trevor. Oh yeah, that's right. I couldn't find Devon for like the longest time. How much is asshole paying you? I hope it was worth it. Cause I walked over here and I heard him. I heard him like in a tank, and I was like, where the fuck is he? Is he in the water? Does he have like some sort of secret underground water layer thing that he's hiding out in? Cause I couldn't like. I knew his voice was. Uh, he was hiding inside of something. But I didn't notice what exactly. He's in the box, in case Damn you're wondering. It. I just just didn't clue into my brain that, oh yeah, he's hiding in a box. Stupid. I almost died there as well. Jesus. Can you say reckless? Yeah, I was like, where the hell is he? Is he hiding in, the, in, in his pool? He is supposed to be rich. Maybe he's got a secret base in his pool. For some fucking reason. Then I was like, oh wait, there's a box. He's in a box. Wait, wait, hear me out! Not even a metal box, it's like a talkie. I don't know where we got that rope from, but Rope X Machina, I guess. Where's it duct tape? I can tell. Either way, we didn't have it.
All right. Now for them to do rambling in between each other. Pretty sure this is the part where Devon's like, no, don't kill me. I like you. Even though... I wonder what would yeah, happen Mr. if you Weston, got uh, Michael to come him. out of the city, him. make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Yeah, it's, now we can only play as Trevor and we have to drive over to the extract, or to the meeting place. Extraction point. <laughs> Not extracting him. This fucker's getting what he deserves. Yeah, but I wonder what would happen if you had Michael instead of Trevor driving him. Because she tries to, you know, talk to Trevor and be like, Hey, you don't want to kill me. I can help you. Like, I wonder if he's going to try and settle things with Michael. What's happening? Just speculation. You, you don't know what you're getting into, pal. This is why people want to kill you. You won't shut up. This isn't the end of the conversation. You shitbag. I just don't know what, how often I'm going to be able to talk because I know this conversation goes to all the way to the uh, extraction point or whatever the hell it is. Meeting place. Whatever. You know, you're, a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's going to be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're... Looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah! A fellow entrepreneur! Let me buy a stake. Give you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich hey. right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, That's my friend. That's a cut right there. Nothing to offer. I think they're done yelling at each other? Nope. Let me go. Find a happy place, you zen cock! Um... We done now? We're almost close to the extraction point and there's that weird beeping sound. It's pretty fucking good beeping sound. It's a nice little, like, ringtone in the 90s. I don't know where it's coming from, though. Go meditate, you phony prick! Yeah, I guess they just, like, stopped having conversation and they're just gonna yell at each other. Ah, oh, we still have points seven four miles. I need to find something to talk about. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Oddly enough, I'm trying to, like, wait to have my final thoughts during the credits like I usually do. But now I just don't know what else to talk about. If I had music, I could listen to that. But at last, all the copyrighted music is, uh, all the music in this game is copyrighted, that's what I meant to say. I was distracted by the fact that I'm realizing that at this point in the recording, uh, everything's gonna get a little, like, skippy and jumpy, so you'll have to apologize. It does that every now and then, the rock suit, but not, not rock suit, it's the Elgato. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. And by a few minutes, I'm pretty sure he means like a few hours, because it is the little time swivel thing of my bob that I, I like. Where it's like, oh yeah, you don't have to wait until the actual time, you can just speed it on ahead. Yeah, a couple minutes, all the way to the end of the day. He got bored, just torturing us all, just one day's work, a hard day's work, you know? Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here.
He stopped smoking. It's a happy ending. <laughs> right. We killed all the fuckers right, and up? he stopped smoking. And we I stole you got him. Ooh, the depository. Oh. So. Oh. Right, buddy. <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. <laughs> Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Uh -huh. Hey, Devin. Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye bye. Yeah, and now uh, the last QTE of the game. Oh, let's trigger the two push car. Pretty sure. Pretty sure the car should not be blowing up here, but GTA, so. Yeah. So now what? That's the end of the game. <laughs> now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives as friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to But he's dead. For. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man. Trump card. You two motherfuckers <laughs> terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> and just like that, they all became friends, and they all drove off into the sunset. Hey, one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. So yeah, that's the end of the game. I assume there's supposed to be like a song being played here, but as I said, there's no music uh, once you turn off the music in the, the credits. And as I said, the credits was like 40 minutes long. The entire video was supposed to be like an hour, and I time I sped this up by like times four. So it's a pretty fucking long end credit scene. But yeah, that's the end of GTA V. Um, you can watch the end credit scene go by pretty fast. So yeah, overall, I, I didn't hate the game. It wasn't too bad. Um, I do have a few issues with story, plot, and characters. Uh, by that, I mean, like, I always, thought, I always thought it was weird how the three of them came together, you know? Michael hanging out with the guy who tried to rob him, Trevor, accepting that his friend not only faked his own death, lied to him for several years, and turned out that his best friend Brad died in place of the guy who's now alive and they're still going to be friends together. It all seems a little way like wonky and janky and it's a little, little tipsy-turvy and I'm still not sure how I feel on it. Uh, gameplay wise the driving took a little while to get used to but that's pretty much every driving experience I've had in video games. Uh, the shooting was pretty comfortable. I do like the shooting. I liked it in Red Dead. I like it here. Um, uh, I didn't think most of the activities were, like, the outside activities were very useful or interesting. Um, but that, I mean, like, I don't think the yoga or the whatchamacallit, um, like, tennis, I didn't feel like that was needed, you know? It just felt like a little, like, optional thing that if you were interested to, you can go do. Um, I think it improved stats, but... The stats don't like don't affect the game all too much. I think in San Andreas, if you had zero fat, you starved to death, so you always had to go get food. And if you had too much fat, you then got slower, and you like your character actually 
was impacted by it. Uh, in this game, I never really felt like that all mattered too much, so I just didn't bother upgrading stats, and it just let it happen naturally. Um, uh, the characters all felt relatively similar when you played as them. They do have their own abilities, which I barely fucking touched. Um, and I understand why they put the abilities in there to, you know, make make so that uh, each of the characters had some uniqueness to them, but y if you don't use the abilities like I do, they all feel like the same character, so... There's that. I don't know how you would able to, how you would be able to, you know, differentiate the three characters. I'm pretty sure this is the first time they've done this as well, so... I'll let it, I'll let it slide by. It was okay. It was a decent attempt. Um... I guess the abilities weren't all that attractive. Like, Franklin's driving ability, I suck ass at driving anyway. Making it go in slow-mo doesn't... It does help me a little bit, I will, I will say that. It helps me a bit, but... If I'm just gonna, like... If I already know that I'm gonna be crashing into things, I'm not gonna go, Oh, wait, let's slow down and crash, them in the, and crash into things in slow-mo. Uh, the underwater sections were pretty interesting. Um, although using the submarine, the underwater looked really weird and nasty. But when I dived in the first time, it looked great. So I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it's just different areas. Um, the map is pretty big, pretty large. Lots of. It felt like there was a lot of things to do, but none of them were impactful. You know, like the uh, the side quest to go hunt for spaceship parts in the desert. Not really interesting, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, maybe with a map of some kind? I don't know. Even then, I didn't feel very interested or intrigued to go knock down those guys. that guy's uh, uh, retail sign post that he had. Mostly because they were like super small and you had to like actually pay attention and shit. Ugh, too much work. Um, that being said, the other Freaks and Strangers missions that I did finish and do uh, were pretty, pretty cool and interesting. A lot of weird and wacky characters. Um... There was that one mission, I think it was for Dom, was that his name? The Adrenaline Junkie, that I just never could get up to, because I couldn't find a fucking helicopter. I'm gonna get yelled at about that one, I know that one for sure. Uh, yeah, it happened. I tried. A for effort, I guess. Um, I think my favorite part about this game were the heists. They were interesting, they had a nice build-up, uh... And pulling the heist off itself was cool and interesting. I wish there was more of them. Uh, that being said, the final heist didn't really feel like an epic heist. You know, it didn't feel like there was like a giant amount of drama to it. It sort of felt like it was another day at the job. I didn't hate it. I did like the, I do like the heist, but it didn't feel as epic as they were making it sound. You know, like they were like, this is the hardest uh, pl bank in the world to get into, and we literally just walked in. They handed us the gold, we walked out, and then we're like, oh no, we don't do that, come back. <laughs> we had a little shooting gallery, and then we drove away, which didn't really feel too impactful. That being said, I did like the heist. I thought the ending of that was cool, where they got on the uh, the semis. Um, that was nice. It was, it was pretty, pretty smart, I'll give you that. But... Um, there was a bunch of places I could have bought, and I didn't feel like that I, I ever really had the money for. Uh, like, I think the most expensive was, like, $2 million. The least expensive was, like, $600,000. Maybe more. I don't remember. And I don't think I ever really broke over 100000 um, during the game. After the game, they gave you $2 million each, I think. So, there is that. Um, so, yeah, I feel like that's more of, like, a... Like an optional end game side questy stuff thing to do once you complete the the main storyline. My controller disconnected halfway during the credits. That's how long the credits were. If you noticed earlier in the credits, the screen went dark because uh, I stopped like using the controller and the, the Xbox was like went into power saving mode or whatever, and the screen goes dark and then you have to knock the controller uh, to br brighten it back up. Yeah, it's a pretty fucking long end credit scene. <laughs> I can't talk too much about the music because the music was all muted for the most part. Um, I mean, like, besides, you know, uh, little the tunes for completing missions and other sound effects, but, like, the actual music, I think that's being, like, shown off right here. None of it I could show off, uh, which was unfortunate. I don't want to get copyrighted in every single video. I might try it later in another 
video, but I, I tend to try and stay away from copyright strikes and copyright claims, just because they're annoying to deal with. Um, unfortunately, I wanted, I definitely want to try and get that done because V-Rock in uh, Vice City is always very fun to listen to, because Laszlo is great. <laughs> Speaking of that, a lot of the characters, uh, I like the the cameos and, you know, the whatnots. Uh, I think there was, what, most notably there was Johnny, I think, from the Bikers. Um, in Trevor's storyline, there was Laszlo. I think they mentioned Nico Bellic, the protagonist from GTA 4. Um, there's a bunch of different, like, cameos in this game. But yeah, overall the game wasn't too bad. I do have a few problems with the storyline and whatnot and character development. Not character development, but just cohesion, you know? It's like, we'll all work together because there's money, but we all hate each other, but secretly we all like each other sort of feel. And I'm like, that seems weird and janky, but okay, I'll deal with it. Individually, the characters are pretty interesting. I think my favorite has to be probably Franklin. He's the less douchiest of them all, you know? Michael's a crybaby who whines too much but gets the job done. Is he? He generally looks out for for people. And then there's Trevor, who's just a psychotic, crazy dude, but he's loyal to his friends. And Franklin's just Franklin's just an all around nice guy who has some issues with his with his homies, his his homies. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> the whitest guy you'll ever know is saying homies. Um, it's yeah. I don't know what else to say. His homie's from the ghetto. That's what him and Lamar always say to each other. Well, I can't say what Lamar and um, Franklin call each other all the time, but... <laughs> so I guess uh, homies is the cleaner version. Uh, there is some stuff after the game. Uh, there's this report, which I want to try and read. I'm not sure if I gave myself enough time. Um, I guess this is like all of our stuff. He tries to do the right thing, poor judgment as to what it is. Mo uh, moral compass was destroyed a long time ago. Probable hoarder, which I am. At times, can be oddly morally superior, which is incredible. Uh, avoid certain seamy behaviors. Unfortunately, not all of them. Spend time with family, manages not to kill them. Maybe a possible sign of progress. Not very into white collar crime. Easily offended to a point of extreme rage. Only robs with good reason or some reason. Not much of a yogi, hardly a surprise. A freak of many things. Not physical fitness, yes. Uh, easily distracted and eager to try new things, meet new people, cause new trouble. Lazy in some ways, probably one to write about in the next book. But you're dead, so don't have to worry. Whew, that's a lot of reading. I almost barely made that. So yeah, that's a nice little like wrap up. I'm not sure if that changes if you complete like 100%. Um, probably does, but. I don't really feel like doing 100%. <laughs> I don't feel like recording 100%. I might do it in my own free time, but... We aren't done quite just yet. We still have one more Freaks and Strangers to go talk to. But the recording is getting super laggy, so... I'm going to have to pause it. Oh yeah, by the way, we have a transaction. There we go. Much much smoother now. This is, uh, I think, for $2 million? Uh, I have to go to the website. View account transactions. Yes. 26 million. Excuse me. Not not 2 million. 26 million. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Makes me wonder how much the uh, businesses are. Must have the price ranges differently. So... You've done well for yourself. What? Bum, 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 bum. What, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? Bum, bum, bum. I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? What? Well, I, I bet you never found a girl. Damn. Tell me, Trevor. Are you gay? Oh. Is that what this is all about? Oh. No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son 
who wouldn't forget about his mother. Damn. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. Oh, good God. I fed you. <laughs> I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. Now I see why he's a psychopath. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me. Of your own mother. I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink? Or a cigarette? Or massage my feet? I was killing people. I'm an old woman. And you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry. I Because if you are, Trevor, there, please. There. It's okay, Trevor, please. Son. <laughs> oh, that's enough. She just fucking oh, need him in the face. I am old and tired. You just need him in the face. Old. You're not tired. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> exactly. For everything. This bitch. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money. I don't want your goddamn money. But I want insurance. You know what you think I am? <laughs> A prostitute? Still? Still? You're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. Needs hardcore drugs? I need you to get me some more Deludum. Yes, correct. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. Oh my god. That's awful. <laughs> What a bitch. But yeah, that is the end of uh, GTA. I am not actually going to go do in the go do this uh this heist because I have to go fucking find a a truck. <laughs> I think at this point I was like, you know what? I played this for like 13, 14 hours straight. I think I'm done at this point. <laughs> I kind of don't want to go on a hunt for a truck. So real clear, buddy. I wrote those Brad emails, all of them. Your secrets are safe with me. Uh, now calm the fuck down and stop being a crazy freak and people won't try and have you bumped off. No reply necessary. Stay away from me. From Davey. Good old Davey. Uh, I think that's... I think we're done. Uh, we do have... We finished all the main missions. Uh, didn't get all the hobbies and pastimes. I think I got like 60% done of the, the game. Um... Yeah, 67% done. I think that's pretty decent. I wasn't aiming for 100, uh, and I'm glad that I got over 60, so... Yeah, um, that's it for GTA. I don't know what's going to be following this. I still haven't really got up a plan. I'm debating between two games, so we'll see. But until then, have a good day, good night, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time you're watching this, your time wizards. And hopefully join me next time when we come back for more random shit. Uh, until then... I'll see you later.